Welcome back to the Multifaceted channel. Today, and just a quick heads up, I'm here to inform you that we're coming back really strong with the same ideas, same mentality, same mindset, English competency discussed with all levels and all single kinds of ideas and people. So, get ready, I'm going to show you a clip as well as the whole new level that we're going to be sharing on Multifaceted channel, inshallah. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Sofia. Welcome to the very first talk show which will bring to you each and every single approach to the English language universally. And the whole purpose of the show is to so variously discuss and discover the rich capacity any individual would have had. By which to say, in our minds and our standards, we're here to discover that. Some people approach the English language, whether academically or not, we're here to, dis to discuss those points. And that's our mindset. And as of now, I have a very good friend of mine who has always personified the English language capacity approach in his own standards. Please stay tuned. Thank you for staying tuned. This is the one I told you about. This is Muhammad Tahar Mokneem and he's the one who's going to talk about his journey that approached English language so very effectively. You can start by talking about yourself. Mr. Thank you for having me today with you here, Mr. Sufyan. Thank you for participating with us. Thank you. Actually, it started the uh, learning English started with me when I was very young, you know, actually I was like 13 or 14 years yeah, old. Yeah, I've been there. Yeah. And I started to have an interest in that language and I started to, like, uh, if we can say, seek knowledge about it. Uh, first of all in school, then when I... What time in school? You know, if you don't mind my question. Time? You mean a year? like? Yeah, the, the school exactly. Yeah, what year were you in? No, I was just in middle school. Was, oh. Yes, I do remember those yeah, times, man. I was in middle school and, it's good. you know, I don't know, I'm not blaming the teaching process or something, but it was not that rich for me, as if we can say that. Thank you for bringing yeah, that up, yes. Yeah, it was not that rich, so I, I started to seek that knowledge by myself and try to, you know, watch TV shows and such stuff and listen to music and, you, you were know. seriously enriched by those uh, yeah, exactly. entourage, to be yeah. exact. It was like a good adventure, a good journey as it is till now. And, and I keep learning, you know. Back then it was, we have few like resources, if you can say it. Correct. To, to develop ourselves or to improve our skills. And it was hard. We have Way to too hard at the yeah. time, I do remember. Yeah, it was very hard. And we had only access to like French, uh, TV shows, if you can say it, because... Especially into your house, man. I do yeah. remember those times. Yeah. And at the time, also, I do remember when I couldn't even stand up to you, being so academic. I was too young to learn English the way you did. You had an internet access uh, way too soon. Yeah, yeah. That's why I do remember that. Yeah, but, you know, not just because you have an internet, it's, it, does, it, it doesn't mean it was easy enough to research those, those things. You had a, to put an effort. To do it, yeah, or achieve this goal. Yeah, to achieve your goal exactly. So it, it took me quite a time to, to to get what I wanted, if you can say it that way, because it was like uh, I did my own sessions, if you can say it this way. Right. This way. Still I, doing the same thing. Yeah, because I tried to learn the language by speaking to maybe natives or more, not native speakers. I, I mean, American people, because I as we can notice, I'm just talk like Americans. Good, this great. Is my influence in English. Yeah, right. It was not that academic, my experience with the language. Which brings me to the next question, the academic, uh, let's say, realm. Yeah. Uh, would you please talk about that part? How to put it to you this way? Uh, you, d you did not go that, 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 that deep, that academically deep. Yeah. And you still managed to get out with a very rich capacity. Not just speaking, but writing too. Yeah, actually. I do like your poems online. Thank you. Yes, so good. Please talk, talk about that and how you were seriously enriched outside the academic realm? Yes, yeah, sadly. That is my question. Yeah, I'm sorry to interrupt you. As sadly, it was not a good experience for me, like being in school and whatnot, because I started also working at a young, very young age and dealing with job and, you know, like trying to discover or to... to overcome. Yeah, not just overcome, like I, I tried to... As I was saying to you, maybe not in the show, maybe when we were sitting together, mm -hmm. I, I always seek knowledge, so it was very hard to work and seek knowledge when at you were, the same time. Yeah, because yes, the second been. part of my, if you can call it, sessions, I can call them like lessons or whatnot. 
I was like 16. Thorough lessons all the time. Yeah, I was 16 when I started working. I was like very young. And to keep up with the job and to have the, the time the passion about knowledge mm -hmm. and stuff like that, it was hard to, you know, balance between the two. So I had a very hard time doing it. So Correct. Not that easy. I think this brings me to my situation too when I had to skip away from the academic uh, yeah. protocol. They are too mundane and too dull. Yeah, yeah. So it was so good to get out of that point. Uh, it was so good to develop other things. Me being a writer, you being a poet. Thank you. I admire watch, uh, reading and watching your stuff online, which is uh, one hell of a job, honestly speaking. Yeah, because, you know, like, like you were saying, I don't know, maybe in the academic way, it's like... Uh, it didn't enrich you that much. We shared those visions together. I don't think it did, but you know, when you are in a school, if you can put it that way, mm -hmm. things are like a pattern, you know, you have a pattern to walk on. It's so, like a cage, man. No, not a cage. I mean, like, like I don't know, like when you have a, a war, you know, streaming in a, in a, in a pattern, Don't it doesn't go like there. It doesn't there. glide over. Yeah. Yeah. But when you are in the outside world, if you can call it that way, Correct. it's way harder you know, to learn. Correct. If you try to do it it's by good. your own, it's not that easy. There's too many things, you know, going on. So yeah. I had to deal with that pressure also. So I just keep focused on what I, what I wanted. So I, 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 you know, I, I felt it was exciting, you know. To it was exhilarating. Yeah, because I've been those times. Yeah, been there it, with it, you. it was very exciting for me because, as I told you, I didn't speak with Native, Native Americans directly. I had to talk with many different like races, and they had another. Another accent, accent and yeah, okay. so it enriched. Uh, it did enrich me, but it was like uh, I don't know. It was very exciting. Uh, Thank experience. you. Thank you so much, man. I uh, I do relate to what you were saying because we've been there together. Uh, but, but eventually you did pull it off, anyways. Yeah. Very successfully too. Well, okay. Thank you so much, Mohammed.